Hi, Otto here for Bavarian Auto Sport. In today's do-it-yourself video, we're going to be showing you how to change your oil using the Bavarian Auto Sport vacuum oil extractor so we don't have to get under the car to drain the engine oil. In fact, if you have a BMW model with an oil filter that's accessed from under the hood, we don't have to get under the car at all. This is great. Now in doing the oil change, we'll still need our oil, oil filter, whatever tool might be applicable to access the filter in the canister. We're going to be using our pig mat absorbent mats and of course our mechanics gloves. All of these items are available in our online store at bavauto.com or call our advisors at 800-535-2002 to help you put together an order. Now let's take a look at some of the features of the vacuum oil extractor. First off, the unit holds a full 9.5 liters, which is enough for any BMW and most other makes and models. There's a nice heavy-duty, easy-to-use pump handle to create our vacuum. Additionally, if you happen to have an air compressor, you can connect an air line here and it creates a vacuum within the canister without using the pump. Now, once the canister is full, we can easily Pour the waste oil out for recycling or other disposal by removing the vacuum hose. Additionally, there's a nice vacuum break here so when we're pouring the oil it doesn't spit on us. You'll notice that all the tools are stored on board. We have the vacuum hose storage here so it doesn't lay on the floor and drain on the floor. And all of our extractor nozzles are stored on board as well to keep the oil on site and off the garage floor. The oil extractor can also be used to remove fluids from other assemblies such as power steering fluid, transmissions, differentials, and transfer cases. We have some accessories available for the tool. The differential extractor for BMW models that do not have a drain plug in the differential. This goes through the fill plug and just connects to one of the extraction tubes. We also have the vacuum brake bleeder accessory. This connects right to the vacuum hose and allows us to vacuum bleed our brakes. Okay, now let's get to the job and see how easy this tool is to use. We're going to be changing the oil on this 1995 M3 with the BAV Auto vacuum oil extractor. We'll be replacing the oil filter and changing the oil all from under the hood. Starting with the engine up to full operating temperature, remove the oil dipstick. The oil must be hot for the extractor to work most efficiently. Select the extractor nozzle that both fits into the dipstick tube and inserts fully to the bottom of the oil pan. Insert the nozzle into the tube and assure that it bottoms in the oil pan. Connect the vacuum hose to the extractor nozzle. Double check that the nozzle is fully inserted. Check that the compressed air siphon valve is closed and begin to operate the pump handle to build vacuum. As the vacuum builds, you'll see the oil being extracted through the tube. While the oil is being extracted, we'll change the oil filter. This M3 has a common underhood canister type filter. Remove the filter canister cap. Some caps require a special tool to unscrew and remove the cap. BAV Auto offers all of the applicable filter removal tools. This M3 uses a 13 mm hex head bolt to secure the filter canister cap. Plastic caps unscrew as a unit using the applicable special tools. Use a pig mat absorbent towel to catch the dripping oil as the securing bolt and the cap are removed. We'll replace the O-ring and sealing ring on the bolt. Remove the cap and pull out the filter using the pig mat to prevent oil spills. Note that it's common that the filter will come out with the cap 
on most models that have plastic canister caps. Install the new filter. Using a pick tool, remove the O-ring from the cap and install the new O-ring that's included with the new oil filter. Install the cap. Use the pick tool to remove the O-ring and seal ring from the securing bolt. Install the new O-ring and seal ring onto the securing bolt. Insert the securing bolt and tighten the bolt or the plastic screw on cap to the torque specified in the Bentley repair manual. This securing bolt on this model requires 24 foot pounds. Before the oil is fully extracted, we'll show you how the air compressor line connects to operate the siphon for the extractor. Connect the air line to the quick disconnect nipple and open the siphon valve. The unit will now create its own vacuum. When the extractor nozzle starts to suck air, move the nozzle around to assure full oil extraction. With the oil extraction complete, close the siphon valve, pull the vacuum brake valve to release any remaining vacuum in the extractor. Disconnect the vacuum hose from the extractor nozzle and store the vacuum hose end on the extractor unit. Remove the extractor nozzle and store it in the nozzle storage tube. We're now ready to refill the engine with fresh oil. Most BMW models will allow the use of the ultimate oil funnel, which secures in place of the oil filler cap and allows secure, spill-free oil replacement. E36 six-cylinder models through 1995, like this M3, cannot use the clip-in mount for the funnel, but the funnel does work well without the mount. Add the appropriate amount of fresh oil. Once the specified amount of oil has been added, replace the filler cap. Finish by checking the oil level after a couple minutes. The level should read full or just a bit over full as the oil filter canister will not be filled until the engine is started. After running the engine for a couple minutes, shut it off, wait a couple more minutes, and verify the final oil fill level. Okay, well that couldn't have been much easier. We did a full oil and filter change in about 15 minutes without getting under the car, without getting dirty. All we had to do is warm the engine up before we started. Remember that everything you've seen here is available in our online store at bavauto.com or give our advisors a call at 800-535-2002 and they'll be glad to help you out. Now, if you've liked this video, please hit your like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also like us on Facebook, and follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Now thanks for watching and we're off to produce another DIY video.